Uh, Mayor Khan, thank you so much for coming to COP26. It's great to have you in Glasgow. Um, so just a couple of questions. Antonio Guterres has announced that this is the time for make or break. What does that mean to you and what does it mean to your work? Well, look, the UN uh, Secretary General is absolutely right. Look, the cost of uh, delay in action far, far exceeds uh, the cost involved, the pain involved in taking action. We're facing, as cities, twin challenges of a climate change crisis and an air pollution crisis. This isn't just an issue for 10, 20, 30 years' time. For sub-Saharan Africa, for islands in the Pacific or the subcontinent, this is an issue for now. Let me give you a couple of examples. This summer in London, we saw as a consequence of flash flooding, our tube stations uh, flooded, more than 31. We saw uh, homes and businesses flooded. We saw, because of overheating caused by climate change, uh, real concern about older people's well-being. We've seen flooding in Germany, we've seen flooding in New York, we've seen fires in Australia and in Greece. This is a now problem, which is why we need now solutions. This is make or break. And you talk about solutions there. Can you give us an example of what London is doing over the next 12 months in particular when it comes to climate action? In 2014, I uh, ran the London Marathon and uh, a year later, uh, I was diagnosed with asthma. And the experts said the reason why I had adult onset asthma was because I breathed in on the streets of London uh, toxicity, uh, nitrogen dioxide, nitrogen oxide, particular matter, which led to me having asthma. But you know, each year there are thousands of premature deaths. There are adults with a whole host of health issues from asthma to cancer, from dementia to heart disease, caused by air pollution, which you can't see. It's an invisible killer. And so in London, uh, we had air quality monitors to assess in real time how good or bad the air was. And then I introduced the world's first ultra low emission zone in the center of our city, uh, which meant if you had a pollution vehicle, you pay £12.50 to come into the center of our city. And just in two years before the pandemic, we managed to reduce the toxic air in the center of our city by 50%. A 44% reduction in uh, NOx, a 27% reduction in particulate matter, and a 6% reduction in carbon. I'm now expanding that to 18 times the size of uh, the original central London area. It covers a population of uh, almost 4 million, double the size of uh, Paris. So within five years, we'll clean up the air in London, which according to experts before our policies would have taken 193 years. That's a lot of challenges that you're facing. What's slowing you down? What is the big elephant in the room? What's that challenge that you're working on that you're trying to overcome? Well, there, there are two big things that, that all mayors uh, across cities in the globe need. Firstly, is we need more financial support in relation to electrifying our buses or our taxis or building the infrastructure for more cycling and more walking or retrofitting our buildings that are energy inefficient that lead to bigger bills and greenhouse uh, emissions. That finance can come from central government and or the private sector. And the second big thing is we need the will of the people behind us. Uh, we have to reapply for our jobs every four or so years. And it's really important that citizens across the globe put pressure on your elected officials to go faster uh, and to be bolder. And the more support we have from the people, the more bolder we can be. Mayor Khan, you're, you're well known around the world. Um, tell me, what gets you out of bed in the morning and what keeps you awake at night? Can I tell you this? The energy and enthusiasm of some of the activists I've met outside uh, the conference hall here in uh, Glasgow is inspirational and that keeps me going because I was one of those people uh, you know in, previ in a previous life and uh, because of my passion I decided to become a member of parliament and a minister and, and now become the mayor and they keep me going. Uh, if I'm Popeye they're my spinach <laughs> and, uh, and what keeps me up is that I, I never want to let them down. Uh, you know I want, I want them to continue to challenge people like me to continue to go further and you know, you know I want people not to be consumers not just to be citizens but to be active citizens. And in a thriving democracy, it isn't just about voting once every four or five years. It's about going on protest. It's about writing to your member of parliament or your mayor. It's about lobbying. It's about signing the petition. And that's what makes uh, you know, uh, societies healthy and vibrant. And it's also an inspiration to me. Brilliant, Mr Khan. Thank you so much, Mayor Khan. Thank you for your time. My pleasure.